Hey guys, welcome back to Portable Entrepreneur. You know, one of the reasons that I create these videos for you is because I wanna make sure that you are aware of different things that you need to know about that maybe you wouldn't necessarily consider. And as a web designer, I know that what do we tend to focus on? Well, design, right? And sometimes we let some of those other elements go that we might consider to be someone else's job. But just because it's someone else's job doesn't mean that we shouldn't be bringing it up, talking about it, and helping to make sure that it actually happens. So in this case, we're actually looking at a bit of what comes first, the chicken or the egg type of scenario. And in this case, we're asking the question, what comes first, the design or the copy? So the purpose of every website is to sell in some form or fashion that's gonna look a bit different for every type of website out there. This could be, of course, to purchase a product or a service, but this could also be to book an appointment, to call a phone number, to fill out a get a quote form, or to simply subscribe to an email list. And this is where design and copy start to work together. And when you put those two together, that is ultimately how you create an effective website. So good copy is going to help with SEO. It is actually what is going to help build trust with a website visitor. And it is ultimately what is going to help convert that visitor to take the next action step that the business wants them to. So if you think about a button being placed on a website, the design is what is going to capture the attention of the visitor and draw their eye over to that button. But it is the copy, what it says on that button, what surrounds that button, that is ultimately going to convince that website visitor to actually click. So this is really about finding that sweet spot because the best copy without any design, well, it's not going to hold the attention the same way. But at the same time, if you have an amazing website, but it has bad copy, it's ineffective because it is not going to convert the visitors in the same way. So this is why smart web designers talk to their clients about the importance of copy. This is why smart business owners actually take the time and money to invest in good copy for their website. So that way their website doesn't just look pretty, but it starts to actually convert. And in this case, I don't typically like to have a business owner be the one to write the copy. A business owner is definitely the expert in their business. They know their products, their services, like the back of their hand. They know it inside and out. So that's why they should definitely be providing all of the details. They should be reviewing it for accuracy, but that doesn't necessarily make a business owner a great copywriter. So there's a couple of options here. And one of course is to go out there and hire a copywriter. Some copywriters, good ones at least can be very expensive, but that is because the work that they do, it actually pays off, but not all of them are. But let's say as a designer or even a business owner, or you have a website, whether it's your agency or an income site, and you want to be able to write the copy without all of the expense. I've even shared a tool here recently on the Portable Entrepreneur channel that shows you how to have artificial intelligence write the copy for you. And it's quite amazing. I even walk you through it. So I'll leave a link to that tool and even the video where I show you what it looks like and how to get the copy written for you in the description below. But you can literally have everything written for you from headlines and paragraphs and service descriptions so that you have amazing copy that helps you to convert, to sell, to have that effective website, even if you don't already have those copywriting skills. So when you take a look at the next website that you're gonna be working on, or even your own websites, I want you to go in and take inventory of the content that already exists. I want you to take a look at what content doesn't exist, but really should be added to the website and take a look at the effectiveness of the copy on the website. Go into your analytics, take a look at which pages people are landing on, but they're also leaving the website when they get to it and see why maybe that is. This could be a design issue, but this very well could be that the copy is just not up to par and is not holding their attention because copy ultimately is what is answering the question, what is in it for me? And if that question isn't answered really quickly, well, you better believe that website visitor is out of there. So take this as a reminder that when you are working on any website, you need to make sure that you have very strong copy and you start incorporating this into your discussions, if you have clients, into your process as you're building out these websites so that you ultimately get those results that you want. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.